Tucker, what's that hole in the bed under your butt? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Well, what is it, Tuck? Um, I, I, I was laying there one day. Yeah, Tuck. And I farted. Oh, I, I would believe that. I would. Don't put that on the video. Sure, I, I wouldn't do that to you. I want to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. I've got their mattresses in my tiny house, my RV, and my camper van. And I really enjoy them. Do you need a mattress for your home or RV? Then go to <clears throat> rvmattress.com slash campervan Kevin. Use the coupon code CAMPERVANKEVIN to get 25% off your purchase. All right, now back to our video. Say bye, Tucker. Uh, bye, Tucker. Dexter. Dex. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. Me? I'm doing quite well. I'm in a pretty good mood. As you can see, I'm here at Vagabond. Am I showing the trash on my porch? I hope not. Had to put it there to get it out of the RV. Anyway, you all have trash at your house too, right? Okay. Uh, so about a week ago, um, I decided that I needed a little bit more uh, muscle up here to work on some trees. Now I've got that uh, little uh, DeWalt 12 volt chainsaw, 20 volt chainsaw, and it does very, very good, battery powered. But uh, I've been working on something for the last, well over the entire winter actually. I have been purchasing all the lots that I wanted to buy here around me at Vagabond. Vagabond uh, has gone from, well, let's just say it's much, much bigger. Um, with that being said, I got a lot more trees on the new part of the land that need cut down, worked on, and everything. and. Electric's nice, but I needed something more. Also, when I've been up here um, several times this winter, I've used that wood stove a lot, and I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And even though there's not a lot of wood on the original one acre that I had here, the other property has some very, uh, it has a lot of juniper and some of it's dead i'll have firewood for five or ten years so i needed something a little bit more than what i had so i was looking on amazon at new chainsaws and i was torn between a steel and a husqvarna uh and i talked to my buddy jd and he told me to get a husqvarna they crank easier they're made real well Looked on Amazon and then I switched over, looked over on eBay 
and I found that Husqvarna sells their refurbished units, factory reconditioned, for, gosh, 30% less off of new. Uh, this is an 18-inch chainsaw, 18-inch uh, bar on it. Tucker, I'm making a video. Sorry. And it comes with a one-year warranty. And return shipping is included if I have an issue. So thought I'd open it up, take a look, and see what their factory reconditioned stuff looks like. I don't have my koi knife on me. I've got this Bear Grylls that I bought years and years ago. Keep as a backup. I carry it on my, uh, my side here in this pouch. It's made by Gerber. When I was down in Phoenix and I wore my koi knife, what's that? I wore my koi knife, I kind of got some strange looks. So this kind of, I don't know. I still have a knife, but it doesn't seem to spook people as bad. I do have some bad news. Um, my friend Koi up here, I've showed his knives. He's been on my channel several times. He died this winter. Really, I went to go see him and he was in the hospital. His neighbor told me he was in the hospital. He wasn't answering my phone. I went to the hospital and saw him and he got out. It's one of the things I was doing up here this winter. And then we thought he was going to be okay. I went back down to Phoenix. I came up to see him again, knocked on the door, knocked on the door, couldn't get him on the phone. His neighbor came out and told me that he had died. It's one of my most favorite people up here. I have three of his knives. If you were lucky to get one. If you got one, you were lucky to get one. Very high quality knives. Super good guy, good friend of mine. I miss him. So, anyway, let me pull this out and be right back. Look what, look what Dexter has found. We were out walking, and that was laying up under a bush. <clears throat> it's a, it's a dog toy. It's not ours. If it's ours, I don't remember it, Dexter. It's got three squeakers. We almost got it. That boy can jump like a cat. And some kind of squishy stuff in it. And I said, what is that? I pulled it out from under a tree and it's been Dexter's brand new favorite toy ever since. Get it, Dex. Get it. Get it. Tear that old thing up. What is that, a mummy? Get it. Woo. We were talking the other day how uh, Martini got whooped by him. He put her on her back three times in a row. Well, she's getting wise to him. She's bulldogging him, hit him and hit, hitting him broadside, knocking him off the bed. But she really does like him. She picks on Tuck. She loves Tuck. So, yeah, we found the dog toy. You found it. I found it. Good boy. I went to go put it in last night and he run off with it and put it under a tree. And I was like, okay, we got indoor toys and outdoor toys. See how he see how he shakes his head when he quits biting? That's what makes me think he's got tooth problems. Teeth teeth problems, tooth problems. Which is it, Tuck? Uh, I think both are right. Okay. Yeah, he's not doing it that much now, but he usually does it a lot. I think that boy's got some rotten teeth in his head. We're fixing to find out. All right, this is what was in the box. Got the bar, got the chain, destructions, instructions, got the tool, got the head unit here. Get this out of plastic. Let's see what factory recondition looks like. I see a little nick here or there. 
little nick is super clean my question my question is if Husqvarna's are so good then why did they have so many that uh, they had to refurbish so these are chainsaws that people used had problems with turned them back in warranty and got another one then the factory came in here and fixed these back up for resale but you know I'm, I'm going to use it some not a lot I'm going to look here on my phone to see what I paid for it so you see a little bit of use there these things are so darn expensive I just thought this might be the best way to buy we're going to see if it if it comes back to bite me in the end or not the bar looks brand new I don't see any scratches well maybe chain's brand new I just checked my phone checked my eBay account I paid $235 with free shipping brand new it listed for two uh, for $340 so I saved over $100 getting a refurbished unit with a factory warranty. Um, the one thing that's nice about my electric chainsaw, well, you don't have gas. <laughs> of course. Um, I've watched people struggle with chainsaws forever and ever. Keep them running, keep them cranked. And our gas is not good. So I thought the electric would be the way to go. And it, it was enough for this acre. It is not enough for what I've bought. Um, I'm not going to run this today because I ordered some factory uh, bar oil, some Husqvarna bar oil, and I ordered some Husqvarna 50 to 1 premix gas. It's expensive. I know, I know. It's silly to pay that amount for that gas. But this thing's going to sit more than it's going to get used. And you can leave that gas in there and not worry about clogging up the carburetor. So the money I'll save on a mechanic fixing this versus what I'll spend on high priced gas in a can, I think I'm going to come out ahead, but we'll see. Get it. Get it, Dex. Get it, Dex. See him shake his head. That mouth is hurting him. I hope he don't lose all his teeth. See that? That's what tells me we got a problem. We're going to fix it, Dexter. We'll, we'll get it fixed. Hey, like that security shirt. Good boy. My solar panel array has done a good job keeping my firewood dry. I just saw a ground squirrel out here playing on the rocks in the sun. So they must have hid in here. I think I'm far enough away from the house and vehicles in case I get mice in the in here. Is there a mouse in there, Tucker? It is possible. You start feeding me more, I'll, I'll start telling you more. And I'll hunt harder. You might have to start hunting to eat if you keep up with that smart mouth of yours. But anyway, the babies are having a good time hunting out here, trying to catch them. It snowed yesterday here. It looked like styrofoam when it hit the ground he's still toting that thing around but my trees my neighbor pops gave to me are sprouting out again he, he grew these from cut cut cutlings is that the right word and gave them to me i took them down to phoenix so they wouldn't freeze they wouldn't die being in these pots and everything and uh, Tucker, I'm making a video. But anyway, I got them back up here now. I just got to figure the right place to plant, uh, plant them. Tucker, do you always have to be in every shot? I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm the star. This is true. Sitting here messing with this chainsaw made me think about something with my dad. My dad. Growing up, we did a lot of wood wood cutting. My dad, growing up, we did a whole lot of uh, 
wood cutting on the farm. We heat it with wood for a long time. Now, I have split my fair share of wood. Loaded it, split it. But my dad would never let me run his chainsaw. So I don't have any much experience with it. He had what they called a bow saw. First one I've ever seen, last one I've ever seen. <clears throat> and it was a monster. Big. My dad was not tall like me. He wasn't big like me. My dad was about 5'9", 5'10". Strength. Incredible strength. You know, just born with it. Now, Paul, <laughs> down in Phoenix, he thinks I'm real strong. You know, we horse around, I grab him up, throw him around a little bit, and uh, Paul swears that I'm, I'm super strong. Well, <laughs> that's like... You never, you don't ever uh, horse around with my friends, cause most of my friends could whoop me. He said, "No, no, no, you're strong." But anyway, if I am strong, I'm nothing compared to my daddy. Uh, okay, that being said, so my dad had a friend. This is what a, this is what a true friend is. My daddy had a friend that was a small engine mechanic, and over the years, he take every year. He'd take the chainsaw down to get it serviced. He just trusted his friend like that. They were, you know, they were close, close. And he says, Joe, you need to get rid of that chainsaw. It's going to kill you. Both saws are real bad to kick back on you, and uh, they can hurt you. I don't know this myself. It's what I have heard older people talk about. And my dad had one of the worst ones. It's white. I don't remember the name. Ran good, though. So my dad's getting age on him, right? He's getting age on him. He's in his 70s now. Takes a chainsaw. Takes a chainsaw down to the mechanic. Leaves it. Don't hear anything about it. Don't hear anything about it. Just goes back down there to see his buddy. He says, oh, while I'm down here, I'm going to pick up my chainsaw and pay you for it. He says, Joe? He said, I don't have your chainsaw anymore. My dad says, excuse me? I, re I, I, I personally remember the chainsaw being, being around over 20-something years. I don't know how old this sucker was. He said, what do you mean you don't have my chainsaw? He said, I sold it. I got the money for it in the garage in here. I'll go get it for you. He said, you did what? My dad would take and take and take, but when he got to, when he got to his point, y'all better run. My dad didn't beat me, but I smarted off to my dad one time. I was 16, 17 in my, my prime, kind of, sort of. I deserved it. He laid me out flat, knocked me out cold, one lick. Boop. Next thing I know, I'm laying flat on my back, looking up at the sky. And I turn around. He's done walked off. He's way, way back on the on the field some, somewhere over there. I learned not to smart talk my daddy. I knew better then when I did it. But, you know, you're 16, 17, you're filling your oats. There's no excuse for it, but I did it. One lick. Knocked me out cold. I never saw it coming. I don't know if it was overhand, undercut. I don't remember. I don't remember. But um, he says, Joe, I'm going to go get your money. And he said, I didn't tell you to sell my saw. I didn't tell you to sell my saw. He says, I know. He's like, you're my friend. You never take my advice on selling it. So I sold it. He said, I'd rather you be mad at me. <laughs> I don't know why this chokes me up a little bit. He said, I'd rather be mad. You'd rather be mad at me, but still have my friend around. He said, this thing's going to cut your leg off and you're going to die, bleed to death somewhere out in the woods. My dad left in a huff. I don't know if they threw hands or not. I wouldn't have wanted through hands with that mechanic. 
big, big man. Made me look like a blade of grass. And uh, he didn't talk to him for six months to a year. And then uh, he went back down there and talked to him. He said, you know what? You're right. He's like, I knew that chainsaw was dangerous. And thank you for caring so much about me being your friend that you risked, you risked our friendship um, to keep me safe. That's what real friends do. That choked me up. Yeah, that, that choked me up. I miss my father horribly. He's been gone since 07, my brother since 99. And uh, I've kept it off the channel, but I, I, I've uh, recently, a uh, month or so ago, I lost my mama too. Uh, so I guess I'm grown now. 54 years old, I don't have any parents, any brothers. Um, my mother and I, we had always had a strained relationship. Um, my mother has, my mother, my mother was sick. Um, she had, uh, she had emotional issues. And we've clashed forever. And but before she, before she died, we worked everything out. Everything was forgiven on both sides. And uh, and now she's gone. And we had we had a really good long heart to heart talk uh, right before she died and um, it's it's been real difficult it's been real difficult I'm not real proud of how everything everything happened but she forgave me and I forgave her and she's not suffering anymore and she's in a better place so there's that I, I have uh I have kept it off the channel, um, but if you've kind of noticed, I haven't been making quite as many videos. Uh, there's been a lot going on with that. Yeah. All right. All right. Just my life. Life. It's the price you pay for living. If you're stupid, it costs a little bit more sometimes. Okay, everybody. I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. Bye from... Concho, Vagabond, Arizona. Next video, we're going to get this boy to the dentist, to the vet, get his teeth, teeth clean, get them fixed. We'll let you know how it goes. Bye.